How you doing folks? We go on and this is uh, another video where I'll be answering random questions. So far I've answered uh, 15, right? And you decided that I should go on and I'm happy. So I will go on. All right, let me go ahead and uh, number 16. Here we go. If you could lock up one person in a mental institution, who would it be? My brother. I don't know. Um, I think that, well, first of all, I'm not, I can't be like that bossy to, you know, decide that and to kind of, you know, control someone's life or even influence it like that, or maybe even, you know, kill someone like that. Because being locked in a mental institution is not fun, I bet. It's not. So I would say that a lot of politicians need that everywhere, here, there, everywhere else. Those guys, when you see what they and you, when you hear what they say, when you see them on TV, and I don't have a TV, but I kind of know what's going on on all those channels. I really am afraid of, you know, of these dudes. Really, like, what's going on in their heads. That's ridiculous sometimes. Okay, now let's move on to number 17. What part of your body could could you use a little lotion? Use a little lotion. Uh, my skin here on my face, and I don't really know how you use lotion. I mean, lotion. I, I, I kind of get why people use it, but does it even help? Like, my hands. They get all red and, you know, the skin on my hands that gets like, you know, uh, almost like, you know, what do you call that? Like, not scratches, but it kind of pops up when it's cold. And yeah, like maybe that would help me because now it's kind of only plus 10 and I'm already starting getting this, starting to get this. Um, all right. 18. What part of the human face is your favorite? I think it would be it would be eyes. Yeah, cuz that is the mirror of your soul, isn't it? I think yeah, it pretty much they pretty much reflect what kind of person you are and really after meeting so many people in this life, I can already say that I have a Every time I meet someone new, I have a feeling what kind of person it would be. And pretty much, I totally agree that eyes, um, you know, say it best. They give this information best. Okay, 19. Do you do, do you do dance crazy when no one is looking? No. No, I never dance just at all I just don't know I'm boring when it comes to dancing like I've never done it like I mean I did a couple times I did dance at parties when I was like super wasted uh, that was my graduation party at my university that was like the craziest dance I ever done in my life and still have ever done so I guess that will be it. But no, not really. I'm not a dancer. But I like like I like imagining uh playing, you know, drums or guitar especially when some important concert is like, you know, coming up. So or sometimes I'm trying to kind of come up with a drum line and my girlfriend knows that. I'm like, you know, trying to like, oh, should I hit like this drum or like the hat or like the cymbal so like yeah trying to to sort of you know air drum yeah uh, but this is what I do not you know not no dancing yeah. number 20 uh, what was the best what was the best thing before sliced bread just bread I mean it's already great I don't really eat it but I think uh, it's a very necessary type of food and yeah, but yeah, what else could I mention? 
What was the best thing before sliced bread? Um, a knife, maybe? Why not? Okay. As I said, that's a weird list, and, uh... I am only looking forward to all the following questions, which will come next. Okay, number 21. If you could wedgie any historical figure, who would you pick? Wedgie? What's this? I even have to look it up now. Wedgie. What is this? Um... Yeah, you know what I just got? This is an unpleasant feeling. Just connected to the, uh, like, your underwear, which is stuck in between your buttocks. Nice. So, it doesn't mean, like, talking shit about someone. Uh, I mean, sure, like, probably Hitler, probably Stalin. I think these guys were pretty cruel and pretty... What, like, they came from hell to me, like, after, you know, reading so much and learning about them. I am pretty sure that these guys are pretty much the same. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. But, uh, who else? I don't know. I don't really know. Because most of these historical guys, they were great in a way, but at the same time, not really... Like, Peter the Great was, you know, notorious for a lot of things, but he did so many great things, too. So, yeah, I'm not one of the, you know, one of those who like to talk shit about people, especially when I don't know them personally, and those people, like, have been dead for a long time. So, what's the point? None. 22. How come you never read about a psychic winning the lottery? Or never read? Um, I don't... I mean, I'm not really sure I get the question, but I read about a lot of stuff, and I read about a lot of, you know, cases where people won the lottery. So, if I could kind of rephrase this question and sort of change it to... Uh, do you ever read about guys winning lotteries? Yeah, I do. But, like, psychic winning the lottery? I don't know what they mean by this. I mean, I do get, but that's weird. So maybe, guys, again, you could join me on this one and share your thoughts, because, like, what's the point? Okay, 23. How many pennies would fit into this room? Yeah, if I take the ruble, then even more than a penny. But, um, I think over a billion, pretty much. Yeah, this, this is not a super large room, but, yeah, still. Um, okay. But just, uh, do I need that many pennies in my life? Not really. I'll take, uh, I don't take that cash. No, 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 sorry. 24. You've been given an elephant. You can't get get rid of it. What would you do with it? Elephants are cool. Like, sure, I would not kill one. Because, like, no, I would never do that. But at the same time, it would just die in all these conditions. Like, first of all, there's not enough room for one uh, in the place where I live. Uh, and even if I get, like, find some room for it I can't even imagine going for a walk with it like how I'm gonna need an elevator or something like a rope or I don't know what like some contraption um, yeah it would just sadly die because we have an elephant in our zoo here and she is just out of her mind like I uh, went to go see her a lot of times and every time she's just like swinging, like standing and not really reacting. So I'm pretty much sure she's a zombie because of all the, you know, stuff and the climate and the air and everything and the food. So yeah, such animals should live in the wild. So I would probably make a campaign and 
yeah, kind of, you know, find the money to send the ele elephant somewhere to Africa. Because I think now it's pretty much real to, you know, raise money for everything and anything. Why not? That's my answer. 25. What's the wildest thing that you've ever done in a hotel room? Um, I've been on tours several times in my life and uh, pretty much every time we, you know, stayed in hotels, different hotels. Uh, but I can't say I remember doing something bad. Mm, I heard about, you know, bands breaking everything around and like destroying the room and I think this is bullshit. Like, why would you do this? You have to be a nice guy every time, even if you're, you know, a super great musician with a Grammy or something. You have to be, you have to stay a human being, you know, just, yeah, that's the best thing to do. But, um... I really don't know. Um, is sex a bad thing in a hotel? Yeah, but did I even have it with strangers? I don't know. Gotta think of that one. But, um, yeah, maybe you guys did something bad. I'm trying to be a nice guy. Like, I try to be a nice guy all the time. Even if I have some filthy thoughts, I uh, try to keep it to myself and not really show that. Yeah. 26. Would you rather be trapped in an elevator full of men with B.O. or three soaked dogs? It doesn't make sense. With B.O., what is that? Like HIV or something? B.O., what's this? B.O. Let me go check it out. Uh, B.O., B.O., B.O. What's B.O.? Like, like body odor? Is it the thing? Like, stinky, stinky smell? Like, okay, maybe that's what they mean by this. Or three soaked dogs. Let's start with the fact that I am even afraid to be trapped in an ele elevator all alone. I think that's the worst. But if this is what they mean by B.O., I mean stinky, like, bodies, it's all right. I mean, I've been to the gym in my life and I know what it smells like sometimes. Um, but if they mean something else by B.O., maybe you could help me out here. I'm not so, you know, uh, like professional when it comes to all kinds of uh, abbreviations and stuff like that, like acronyms. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they mean by B.O. So, yeah, help me here. All right, 27. Would you rather live permanently in a roller coaster park or in a zoo? I hate roller coasters. I am boring, as I already said, so I would probably stay in a zoo, and actually this is not such a bad place if it's, if it's a big zoo, not like the one we have here in Ekaterinburg, if it's something like in Berlin, for example, or somewhere in Thailand where they uh, have this huge and super large territory where animals can walk around and not feel like they're caged or something and pretty much not being caged. That's the most important thing. Uh, where they don't even have any bars around, they just have this sort of a, like a ditch around the area and they will not even jump over it or run away because they don't need that. They have perfect conditions inside like within the territory so they would never do that so i think yeah living in a zoo is nice but it just depends like who i am gonna be an animal in a cage no not really but being a you know part of the personnel of a zoo is fine i would be a pretty good good you know zoo uh who like assistant worker Alright, 28. Would you rather look like a potato or feel like a potato? No, 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 no. I would never like to feel like a potato because that is horrible. Uh, looking like a potato is nice. Uh, I mean, I already do, I guess. Like, look at me. I am a potato. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's fun. 29. You're in a circus. Yeah, I am. 
I'm a wolf. I am never in a circus. Would you rather be the person with their head inside the lion's mouths or get shot out of a cannon? I don't like speed. I don't like the heights. So I would totally choose, you know, sticking my head inside the lion's mouth. That would be, yeah, like, you know, the same scary shit, but still I would at least be like, you know, static, not moving. I would just shit my pants and probably just, you know, pass out. So I wouldn't even care. Maybe I would do the same thing being stuck in the cannon before the actual shot. Maybe. So what's the point? Like, I would just pass out anyway. So I don't know. Whatever. You know, either of these. And the question number 30, which is the last one for today, uh, for this video, and this will be, it will be this. Would you rather never be able to express yourself accurately or always have to say the exact truth? Sure, the second one. I mean, truth is beautiful. Lies are beautiful too sometimes, but yeah, I think the second option is great. And I I can't say I'm, I'm, you know, I've always been doing it in my entire life, but yeah, saying the truth is important. Like being able to find the being able to find the right words and kind of trying to make them make them be true. That's that's the, the most important thing in this world. Okay, if you guys want me to go on, I'm super happy to do it. So let me know. We've got 60, what, nine more questions, actually. So that's like, that's several more videos. So yeah, you won't be bored. And me neither. So let me know. I'm happy to do this. So see you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.